2018 is a very big year with the potential to bring a first of its kind medicine to patients, all while continuing to sit as chair of the Biotechnology Innovation Organization and while running a biotechnology company called Nylum Pharmaceuticals as CEO. Of course, I'm talking about none other than John Mariganori. Thanks for being here at the BioBus. Good, good to see you, Mike. So let's start by talking about this historic first, not just for your company, but for science and medicine as well, and the potential FDA approval of the first ever medicine that uses what's called RNAi. So John, in layman's terms, why is that a big deal? Well, RNAi is a Nobel Prize winning discovery that is finally coming forward as a whole new class of medicines. And with the first approval, by the US FDA and then the European regulators, we now can begin to expect other drugs of a similar flavor as RNAi coming forward. And the ability to then have a sustainable source of new innovation for patients and for the treatment of disease is something which is really amazing. So let's take off your CEO hat and now put on your hat as the chair of bio. And here are your remarks at this year's convention. You made a rather bold statement in using a word that most life sciences executives and spokespeople who I know are shying away from. Yeah. But you told the crowd here that you think the time may have come to start embracing the word cure. Yeah. Why? Well, I think you have to look at the data coming out of our industry. We now have therapies that really are cures. And I think in the past, we used to always be fearful of that word because we didn't want to create false hope. But now we can actually use that word because of the data, our, our, the new medicines that are coming forward, because we are creating real promise. So it's an incredibly exciting era to Absolutely. be in this sector. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We've made, we've turned that corner where we can actually use that word. That's great. You also talked about the issue of diversity. Yeah. Gender diversity specifically has been a big topic for the life sciences sector and many other sectors as well. So what is BIO and also the board of directors doing to help combat the situation. Yeah, I think I think it's gender diversity. I think it's all sorts of diversity. You know, the patients that we treat with our medicines are as diverse as you can be. And the fact is that if we're gonna serve our patients well, we have to be diverse as well. And I think it's a, it's a business reason to do that for our companies. We have set up a diversity uh, and inclusion committee At within, bio. With, within yeah. bio, and we're fully committed to increasing the number of diverse candidates within our companies. We have a goal by 2025 of having 50% of our C-suite employees being women. And that's just one metric of diversity. It obviously goes beyond gender, but it's one thing that we can measure very accurately from a goal perspective. Not audacious in your opinion? It's a big one, I have to admit, it's a big one, but we're gonna try, we're gonna try. John Mariganori, the CEO of Alnylam Pharmaceuticals, as well as the chair of Bio. Thanks for being here at the Bio Bus Center. Thank you.